Uh, okay, cool. Uh, 1071, greatest common divisor of uh, strings. For strings S and T, we say T divides S if and only if S is equal to T plus dot 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 plus T. Uh, with T can uh, return the largest string X such that X divides uh, string one and X divides string two. Okay. Uh, huh. So I guess that is the GCD. Uh, okay. I, mean, I think we solved the problem relatively the same way. Ish. No way. Do it. I made that up actually. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, n is a thousand, so we could probably get away with an n square algorithm. So we don't. We shouldn't try too hard. Um. Hmm. What is the right way? I, mean, I think it's just brute force. I don't know if there's another thing. Just take the smallest string and then try to uh, try to divide it a little bit. Like in, in that way, maybe it's greedy. Well, maybe not. Maybe I use it over here. I think. Yeah, I'd say string palms are always at over here for me. <laughs> uh, okay, so n, n is a thousand. Uh, so. So I think all we have to check is all the factors of n for probably the smaller character. And then, and then just, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Because I think there's only, um, and, and there could be only about 10 of these factors, right? Uh, give or take. Uh, because 2 to the 10 is 10, 24, whatever it is. Uh, yeah. So, so that means like in theory, uh, well, divisorism. Because then that's what what they call the is it order pi function or something like that to get all the factors. I forget the name of these things, but I, I think I'm just gonna do all the divide the uh, divisors. And for kind of string ponds, I like doing it in C sharp or uh, C plus plus. Oh, I mean, I guess maybe C sharp too. Just because I I don't know, I worry about silly string access stuff in Python, which maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. I just, it's something that's more innate for me, but uh, okay. Uh, that sucks. Okay. Naming stuff is hard. That's way too long. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have created it a later. Yeah, it's too late. I'm lazy. Um, it's only up to a thousand anyway, so uh, we could skip to the empty string. We don't have to do any f fancy, crazy math. Uh, though we should, maybe. Do it. Uh, okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm, I guess that's probably so do we in uh in uh Python Python sub sub slice or whatever uh, slice for strings is actually pretty handy. Uh, what am I doing? Um, 
Yeah, I guess that's always going to be the case with the camera up. So. Mm, I guess we can actually make a slight optimization. Also, we have to factor some of this out. And this also has to be true, which is n my i v is zero. So my my n is oh it's actually yeah. Put this here. Uh, and then we can actually just return this immediately to something like that. I don't want to chat probably. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I guess the prefix has to be the same, right? So we don't actually have to okay, so let's actually just do something like this. S1, but uh, then back and forward. Okay. Oh, that's quite a while. because they don't have the same prefix in this case. Okay, but then we checked. Hmm. Mm, I think I didn't know why. Okay, fine. I guess I could have kept it, but it's okay, maybe. Okay, well, I was wrong, then it was okay, maybe. <laughs> um, what else is there? And if you look at the core, let's, let's just quickly check. Um, is this trivial true? And this should be trivially not true, right? Oh, this should be an or. Yeah, that's what happens when you hack things together instead of thinking the logic moves straight up. I missed an edge case. Okay. Uh, is there any other edge case? Uh, maybe just a lot of A's. It should be like, I don't know what the answer should be. Maybe three or four, maybe two A's, one A. Hmm. I didn't count how many there is. <laughs> what, 16 and Oh, seven, which is a prime number. All right, let's try eight. So then it should have eight, maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, right, let's just submit. There's no zero case, I don't think. So, okay, cool. <clears throat> eh, that went fast. Eh, I mean, I'm not going to cry about eight milliseconds. I think it's just fluctuation or whatever. Uh, oh, that's a good photo, a cool guy. Sometimes I do kind of get a little overconfident and I don't swap them. Hmm. I actually kind of made some assumptions here, but I guess it, I guess I did it symmetric, but when I was coding, I had made some assumptions. 
But yeah, thanks for kind of the heads up. So I was fortunate that this case didn't need it. Uh, cool. Um, Okay, I mean, complexity is, um, yeah, there shouldn't be that many numbers that uh, that it actually runs through, even though it does a thousand operations, so it's O of n in that sense. Uh, so let's just say this is O of n, and in the worst case, even though the number of divisors are like not that many, as we, we kind of talk about, we could play around with it if you want, especially when it goes only up to a thousand. Um, yeah, I think it's just like some. Some multiple of six is probably like very good. Like in theory, there's a lot of uh, divisors, but excuse me, or something like that. Uh, but um, but you're not going to do this more than like twenty or thirty times, I'd say. Uh, but someone could do the math and brute force check that. But uh, and here is just O of n, yeah, n plus m. So essentially, roughly, is like n square or uh, uh, yeah, n squared, so, which is definitely fine, uh, for n is equal to a thousand, uh, we kind of talked about it in the beginning, uh, and then it's just kind of brute force, I think the key note here, which I think is actually kind of a little tricky for easy, to be honest, um, like, you have to be, you have to know, like, a lot of random math stuff for this one, which is kind of, I don't feel, I'm not feeling this one, <laughs> but, uh, in terms of an interview problem, because uh, I even, I don't know, um, but, I mean, because essentially it's still just proof force, but then, like, with a little bit of math knowledge, but then that math knowledge is not, like, a trivial math knowledge, it's, like, devices stuff, eh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but I wouldn't ask it, I guess, but it, but, uh, but the rest of it, I think maybe it's okay once you get it, I don't know. I think the premise is a little off for me. Maybe that's why. What's hint one? Maybe hint one is good enough. The greatest come. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what I essentially did. Um, which is not a... Hmm. I mean, it definitely helps. Because uh, it took me a little bit to kind of get there as well. But, but like... Eh. I don't know. It's a problem-solving problem. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I... Oh, whoops. One button. Uh, but... Like, would I ask this on an interview? Very unlikely. Would I expect to get asked on about, or uh, asked this? Uh, <laughs> would I expect to get asked this on an interview? Uh, I don't know. That'd be a little tricky. But that said, I did it in about 10 minutes. So maybe if I had a 30 minute interview, maybe that's fine. Or well, like for this problem. Uh, like even on my off days, because I feel like I did okay today. But. Uh, cool. Uh, I think that I, that's all I have about this problem. Don't know if y'all have questions because I feel like it's a little weird, but maybe not. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I have two 